So my name is Sarah Kaju Pacheco. I am one of the High School Drama Club co-directors. Um, I have been working with the Drama Club now since 2014. I've been working in the district um, since 2011. I was a theater teacher here at the high school uh, for eight years, and recently the district created a new position um, that I applied for and accepted, um, and now I work as a teaching and learning specialist for the arts. So I don't work with the students anymore, I work with the teachers, but I still get to come here after school um, and work with the drama club students at the high school. I am on a team of two co-directors and two assistant directors. So I co-direct with Stephanie Donnelly, who is one of the theater teachers here at the high school. And our assistant directors are Carly Swanson, who is the other theater teacher at the high school, and Ricardo Aguiar, who is a Portuguese teacher here. And we have a technical director, um, Ms. Tess Laharu. So I like Drama Club because it's honestly just a place where like, um, I can like go and then I can like live out a passion. Um, I, lo I love being on stage, uh, but like the people at Drama Club are what makes Drama Club. Like, we're here till 9 every night, and the reason that we can be here till 9 every night is because we can have so much fun while we're doing it. And I love being in Drama Club not only because I like acting and performing, but because of the people who are here and who surround, my, who surround me. Um, because that's what really makes Drama Club, is the community that we build. Well, um, I love performing. I've been performing since I was about two. I danced for 14 years. And when my sister came here, when she was in high school, I used to watch her all the time. I used to come to her rehearsals. I used to, I was in a couple of the productions as an ensemble cast. And I really learned how to love just being on stage. Most things scare me and real life scares me. And I like being able to play a role and pretend that my life doesn't exist. And I, I get to, I love getting lost on the stage. And I would say it's something that I'm pretty good at. So I like coming back for that. I started through, uh, doing drama club through doing backstage work. I worked um, one of the spotlights for our play uh, Letters to Sala two years ago. And before the show was um, canceled due to the pandemic, I began acting in Freaky Friday in the musical. And now this year I am carrying that over into this year's play. So my favorite production, which was the first one that I was in uh, when I was in eighth grade, was Sweeney Todd. Um, and the reason I really liked it was because we were able to create sets and synthesize the show. It was almost Broadway level. It, it was really, we put so much work and so much dedication and there was so much love and care for the show. It, it was really, it was really fabulous. It was wonderful. I prefer to be backstage because on stage I get very worried about what I'm doing. However, backstage I feel a lot more comfortable with what I'm doing and helping out is a huge, I really like doing it. It's definitely a very big part of my life. I like helping out on productions. So this is not my first year as part of the New Bedford High Theatre Company, but this is my first live on stage production um, here at New Bedford High. Um, yeah, so last year with the pandemic, we weren't able to perform live on the stage, but we did do, um, I, forget, I know what it is, so we did the Match Girls Gift, which was a radio play, mm -hmm. and we also did a film project, which are both um, really fun and cool to participate in. Um, but I was excited um, that now like we can be back on the stage because before, uh, coming to Medford High, my previous school I did four live musicals where like 
um, we performed on the stage, um, so it's just really exciting to be back at it again. So we are preparing to perform Thornton Wilder's The Skin of Our Teeth. Um, and it is an American classic. It is a Pulitzer Prize winning play, but it's a bit avant-garde. Well, how have they been, Maggie? Well, I must say, they've been as good as gold. Uh, I haven't had, even had to raise my voice once. I don't know what's the matter with them. Papa's little weasel. Uh -huh. Oh, Sabina, there's some food over there for you. Papa's little gopher. Oh. Papa, you're always teasing me. We chose this play, um, well, it was suggested to me by a friend. Um, we were looking to decide um, what we were going to do for this return to live in-person theater at the high school. And we wanted a play that had a flexible cast that could really feature all of the actors that auditioned. Um, and we wanted it to be sort of relevant. So over the past almost two years now, it kind of has felt like we were up against the end of the world so many different times, so many different ways. And throughout the play, and as we've realized now since... March of 2020, we are resilient and we can overcome. And the family, each time they're up against this insurmountable disaster and they persevere and overcome. And that's the sort of the theme of the play. And that was why we ended up going with this one. It's also uh, different from things that we've done in the past. And I think it's really important as an educational theater um, organization that we give our students a wide breadth of experience. We can't always do the bright, happy ending, family friendly, fun show. Sometimes we want to explore something that's a little bit meatier, a little bit more serious, um, and this was our chance to do that. I keep coming back for the environment. It's a group full of people that are uplifting, appreciative, they are blind to all your flaws. <laughs> And I think that's something that is very important um, as a teenager and discovering who you are in your adulthood. I think students um, should get involved in any sort of extracurricular activity. Um, and so it gives them a chance to find something that they're good at that isn't necessarily something that happens within the classroom. Um, sometimes students can find more success as a musician or as an artist or as an athlete um, that might not be as straightforward as doing really well on an exam in a classroom. So I think it's really important that students participate in all of the extracurriculars that we have here at the school. But Drama Club specifically, we have a really, really beautiful and healthy community here. The students are very supportive and welcoming of each other. We start most rehearsals with a check-in so we can really see how people are doing, how they're feeling in and out of school, um, in and out of Drama Club. And it's one of, I just, I love celebrating their successes and helping them through challenges. And they all love doing that for each other too. Um, so it's really, it's, it's a beautiful community and we, we just have a lot of fun together. The students, the staff, the faculty, like we've got a nice little family here and we love welcoming new people in.